Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Ali. I have a seven and a half month old son named Hawk and I make videos all about motherhood and our life and everything like that. I would love if you would subscribe and I'll leave my Instagram in the description box below if you want to go and follow that. Today's video, I'm going to talk all about my newborn must-haves. Hawk is almost eight months now, so he is not a newborn at all anymore, but I remember his newborn stage vividly and I have been thinking about this for a couple of of months now what I think is super important when you have a newborn and thinking about all the stuff that I will definitely want to have again for our next baby when we decide to have another one so I just want to go over the absolute must-have necessities that we really needed for our baby and what I suggest to every new mom or mom to be I'm gonna to try to list everything I can in the description box below and I'll put everything that I can into an Amazon storefront if you want to shop my newborn must-haves and then I'm also gonna put a link down below if you want to start an Amazon baby registry so you can go and sign up for that on Amazon and then you can put whatever you want from this video into your Amazon baby registry. The first thing on my list is something I wish I would have had more of when Hawk was born. We pretty much immediately had to go and buy more of these and that is long sleeve onesies that have mittens that fold over their hands. I don't think it matters what season your baby is born. I think that you should have a million long sleeve onesies with mitten hands. Hawk was born the 1st of September and it was still really, really hot out and we have had him in long sleeve onesies this entire time. Babies love to be cozy and most of the time for Hawk at least, he was just in a long sleeve onesie with no pants and usually swallowed up in a blanket. So those two layers I felt like were really comfortable for him. But a long sleeve onesie that has a mitten and built in is so much easier than trying to put the little sock mittens over their hands. Obviously those can fall off, get mismatched, things like that, but this is always gonna be connected to your shirt and you can just take it off and on as you need to. My baby at least was born with crazy long nails. They were razor sharp and they were so intimidating to cut at first. We were in the hospital for a little while and we didn't have nail clippers there with us obviously, so it was super helpful to be able to put him in a onesie and to just be able to cover up his hands and not worry about him scratching his face and then even when we got home from the hospital and were able to trim his nails it seemed like no matter how sure we got them he was just still hurting himself with his nails. And then also, just on a quick little side note, when you do work up the confidence to start trimming your baby's fingernails, I have tried so many different baby nail clippers and I hate all of them. What I suggest the most is a pair of cuticle nippers. If you don't have a pair of cuticle nippers, you can get them on Amazon or you can get them at like a beauty supply store, Sally's. You can probably even get them at like Walmart or Target in the area that has the nail polish. Cuticle nippers are meant to get really, really tiny things. So they're made to get like really small areas. And I just found that these were so much easier and so much more precise at cutting his little nails. I was never afraid of cutting him with these because like you can see exactly where they're going. You can see both sides while they're trimming. You could just see everything super, super well and they're really, really sharp and just easy. So that is a little baby life hack is use cuticle nippers to trim their nails. Seriously, thank me later. It's so helpful. Okay, the next thing on my list, and you'll hear this a million times, is jammies that have zippers instead of snaps. It's just so much easier with your squirmy little newborn. When they're this little, they need so many diaper changes. So having something that just zips up and down is so, so fast and easy. And if you just cannot resist getting the little outfits or jammies that have buttons, just get them in a bigger size get them more into like a three to six six to nine month size because by then your baby will be sleeping better at night they won't need diaper changes all night long if you really really want to get all those cute little outfits with buttons get them in bigger sizes and everything that you get for your tiny newborn sizes get them with zippers because it's gonna make your life so much easier looking at this tiny onesie makes me emotional okay this next thing I cannot recommend enough I think every new mom should have a million of these and that is 30 inch by 30 inch little receiving baby blankets. These are smaller than like a swaddle or a classic baby blanket, 30 by 30. It's pretty little, but we seriously use these for everything and we still use them every single day at almost eight months old it's probably one of our most used baby items so i feel like i never hear people recommending this if anything i hear people saying that they regret buying these and i am like no they have so many uses you are just not using them right the first thing that we use them for was burp cloths because they are so big it's just so 
nice to be able to put this over your shoulder it's gonna protect your whole front and like your whole back i know my baby spit up a lot and like those tiny little burp cloths that you can buy it was not going to be big enough so we would use it as a burp cloth and then if it got like really wet or he had a lot of spit up we would just like take it and fold it the other way and keep using it. We also always have one or two of these in the diaper bag, either to use for a blanket if he needs an extra layer of blanket in the car seat or wherever we're at. It's also good to be able to like lay this down on the floor if you need to change baby on top of it, or if you're changing him in public on a changing pad, you can lay this down and lay baby on top of it. Also, if you needed to cover up the car seat to protect him, and put this over your car seat and kind of protect him in there. Another thing we use these for is we'll put this down on the surface of the bathtub we don't use a baby bathtub with him we just put him in our regular bathtub with just a few inches of water but we'll put this down underneath him so that it's like a little bit softer and cushier for him so these just have so many uses they're really really soft they seem to just get softer and softer every time we wash them and i can't recommend them enough the next thing are sound machines i think it is so crucial to have a sound machine for your newborn baby it's gonna help them sleep so much more and not just sleep when hawk was really fussy and really hard to calm down i would take him into a dark room with the sound machine on and it just calmed him down instantly so i actually have two sound machines that i highly recommend first one is the hatch baby rest you'll hear about this all the time this is a very very popular sound machine and it's like well deserved it's a great sound machine it also has a night light feature and one of the best things about this one is that it has an app that connects to your phone and then you can adjust it as needed which is really really nice if your baby sleeps in a different room than you or if you're not in the room and you need to turn the sound machine up or down or turn a nightlight on anything like that we also really love our other sound machine which is called the dream egg and my baby is napping right now and he is using that one in there so i can't show it to you but i'll put like a clip of it in here i actually think that we recommend this one more than the hatch and that is because it is portable it's smaller than the hatch baby sound machine and it has so many more sound options the hatch baby has quite a few of sound options too. My son really likes white noise and the dream egg has like five different white noise options. So you can get whatever one is gonna work for your baby best. That one does not have an app, but I still highly recommend it. I love being able to take that with us in the car. We also went on a trip a couple of months ago and we brought that one with us instead because it was just gonna be so much easier to travel with since it doesn't need to be plugged in all the time. I'll list both of those down below and you can decide which one will work best for you, but I highly recommend both of those sound machines the next thing on my list are the mushy and co bibs pacifiers they look like this you've probably seen them all over the internet because they are super cute but they also are the only pacifier that my baby would take and i think it's because they are so lightweight it weighs like nothing and so it was so easy for him to hold it in his mouth before he was born i bought a variety of different pacifiers and this is the only one that worked for him it's just so lightweight compared to those other other ones and honestly it is so much cuter than like that typical green advent pacifier and to go hand in hand with that the next thing i really really recommend is pacifier clips this is gonna help you from having to wash your pacifiers constantly but you should still clean your pacifiers obviously but to be able to clip this to your baby and then not have to worry about it falling on the floor or getting lost or anything like that is super helpful these ones are just like really simple inexpensive ones from amazon that are just braided fabrics so they're really soft they're not gonna like irritate your baby or anything like that but they're still gonna hold your pacifier in place so another thing that we could not have survived without during hawk's newborn phase was gripe water this is the nighttime one we also have used just the regular one too this is a product that really really helps babies with their gas and it also helps so much with hiccups my baby had so many hiccups when he was little and he could not sleep if he had hiccups and it felt like he constantly had them when he would get the hiccups we would just give him a little bit of this and it would seriously make his hiccups disappear within seconds and also really really helped him be able to pass gas it's really normal for newborn babies to be super super gassy and it can be really painful for them to be able to pass their own gas they have these super immature digestive systems and they're still trying to figure everything out and so this is super helpful for that the directions on 
how to give this to your baby is to just put this syringe full inside of their cheek and slowly squirt it in there. I did not like doing that. I found that the best way to feed gripe water to your baby is to finger feed. I would prop him up in front of me on a boppy pillow. And then I would put my pinky in his mouth and let him suck on that. And once he had like a good strong suck on my pinky, I would kind of slip this into the corner of his mouth and like very, very slowly put this in his mouth so that he was sucking it instead of just putting it loose in his mouth. That way he wouldn't choke on it or inhale it or anything like that. It was almost like he was just nursing it out of my finger, if you know what I mean. Another product I cannot recommend enough is the Happiest Baby Sleep Pea Swaddle. And Happiest Baby is the company that makes the snoo. And this is the swaddle that they use inside of the snoo. We actually do have a snoo, and so this is the one that connects into it. But you can just buy the swaddle alone, and it won't have these wings that connect it in there. We tried every single Velcro swaddle that you could imagine. We tried classic swaddles. We just tried everything we could to keep him swaddled really, really well and tight. He was able to break out of all of them besides this one. This is the best swaddle. They call it the five second swaddle and that could not be more true. Unzips like this and then it has a Velcro thing across. So you just lay baby in here and then put this over their arms, Velcro them in, and then you zip it up around them. They cannot break out of this. And even if he could break out of the inside part, he can't break out of the zipper part. This was just like such a lifesaver for us. He slept so well swaddled in this. The one that we were using before we got this one was the, the Swaddle Me one. I noticed that that one, he would wiggle and it would get bunched up around his neck and sometimes even like up over his chin which is obviously really scary, a suffocation hazard. And this is not possible for that one because it zips up really snug. And so there's no way he was gonna get this up around his face or anything. Also, your baby will do the absolute cutest stretches coming out of this thing. So I just can't recommend it enough. This is like an absolute must have product. I will use this for all of my future babies and I will be giving this as a gift for every baby shower I go to. Another product I highly recommend is this Bordeaux butt paste. This is the best diaper rash ointment. Hawk never gets diaper rash ever since we started using this. And we just put it on him once before bed because it's the longest time he's gonna be in his diaper. I tried a lot of different diaper rash creams when he was a newborn and this one works so, so fast. It would just knock out any diaper rash he had. And then we would use just a little bit of this as a preventative to keep him from getting diaper rash. And it works amazingly. It's also a huge container. We have had this since he was a newborn and he's almost eight months now and we still have more than half of it left. It's also not a super white diaper rash cream, which I like because I found that the ones that were really, really white would stain anything that they got on. I think they have a few different kinds, but this is just the original one and it is great. The next thing is a boppy pillow. This is my boppy. It normally has a cover on it, but the cover is getting washed right now, but it's just your classic breastfeeding pillow that you can put around your tummy like this to breastfeed or it's also really great just to have to hold the baby when you have a newborn you end up holding a sleeping baby a lot and this just gives you so much extra support with your arms so it doesn't hurt your back and your shoulders holding your baby also for me it made it really easy for me to be able to have him on here and i could just hold him with one arm and then i would be able to use my other arm to like do my makeup or use my computer or anything like that and then now that he is bigger probably around four or five months we started using this to like help him sit up and it's really great for that it has a lot of different uses and i still use that every day for breastfeeding him so it's another product that's gonna grow with your baby and last a long time next thing for your newborn that i really recommend is a baby wrap i have a few different wraps i have a moby and a boba wrap all of these wraps are going to be the same it's basically just a really really long piece of stretchy fabric that you tie up the exact same way to carry your baby in so what brand you get is not super important i just think that these are are the best for carrying a newborn in my opinion we have a few other carriers that are like a little bit more structured or just different than this and this is what i preferred when he was 
really, really tiny. Baby wearing is going to make your life so much easier when you have a tiny newborn because that baby is gonna wanna be held all day long. So with a baby wrap, you'll be able to hold them and carry them and still be hands-free and get things done that you need to do. I love both the boba and the movie wrap that I have. They're both super great. You can also get a Solly baby wrap, which are beautiful. They have really, really pretty prints and designs. And there's also a brand that you can get on Amazon that is very, very similar to Solly baby, but about a third of the price. So I will link those down below. They have really beautiful prints and I'm pretty sure they use the same fabric as Solly baby, but they are much, much less expensive, but I highly recommend getting one. We still use this with Hawk at eight months. So another thing that's going to stand the test of time and you're going to get a lot of use out of. Another thing that you're going to use for a really long time, but it's really important when you have a newborn is a nose Frida. I'm sure you've heard of it before. It's to suck their boogers, which is super gross, but it's so helpful. If your baby gets a stuffy nose, they're gonna have a really hard time eating or nursing or sleeping. They're not gonna be able to suck on a pacifier while they sleep because they're gonna to need to breathe out of their mouth. It just creates so many issues. So you're gonna to need to relieve their stuffy nose and congestion. The nose Frida is just definitely the easiest way to do that. We have a like a ball syringe for his nose too. It does not compare. This is gonna be so much faster and like less torturous for your baby than trying to use a bulb syringe. Another one of my favorite things that we had when Hawk was a newborn that we actually ordered when he was like a few weeks old is our baby scale that we were able to weigh him at home it gave me so much peace of mind especially when he was a tiny newborn just to make sure that he was gaining weight okay i think it's really normal to be concerned about whether your baby is growing or gaining well enough when they're little especially if you're breastfeeding and you're a first time mom and you're just not sure how things are going i had a little bit of a bumpy start to breastfeeding and so being able to do a weighted feed at home to make sure that i was producing enough and that baby was transferring milk well enough reassured me so much and made my my breastfeeding experience a lot less stressful going along with that with breastfeeding if you're not planning on breastfeeding you can skip ahead but the breast pump I highly recommend is the spectra s1 and the reason I recommend the s1 and not the s2 is because this is rechargeable and can be portable this was amazing when I had to pump when he was really really tiny and I could just take this into the room with me or bring it out here or just do whatever I needed to do move around the house with the pump a lot of other pumps need to be plugged in and this is really helpful that you can be portable with it it's also a really really quiet pump when i was in the hospital i was using a medela pump that they were letting me use and that thing was so loud so when we got home and i used my spectra for the first time i was like shocked by how quiet it was in comparison if you want to watch tv or the baby is sleeping or anything like that while you're pumping it's not going to be a huge distraction it's really quiet but it's also really strong it's just overall a really great breast pump but as far as a hand pump goes i love my medela hand pump this is a great hand pump and it's really really small and easy for you to be able to take it with you if you need to i will just put these in a small ziploc bag and have it in the bottom of my diaper bag if i need it when your baby is a newborn you're probably not going to be away from them very often to need a hand pump so much but in case you do it's really handy to have and you will probably use it at some point anyway. There was only a few times I really needed a hand pump when Hawk was a newborn, but when I did, I was so grateful that I had one with me and this one is so efficient. You don't have to pump for very long. It's really, really good at removing milk very quickly. Another thing I recommend for your newborn is a baby bouncer. We have two bouncers. I'll post little clips of the ones that we have here. One of them is just a really simple one from Target that was pretty inexpensive. And then we also have more expensive, cuter baby bouncer. And we really liked both of them. Honestly, we probably liked the cheaper Target one a little bit more because it came with a battery operated thing on the back of it that would bounce the baby automatically. Swings did not work for our baby. He did not like any of the swings that we bought him, which was many. Maybe your baby will love a swing. For us, he did not like swings. We just felt like a bouncer was easier than a swing anyway because we could move it around the house with us. It's just really nice to be able to have somewhere to set your baby. Speaking of places to set your baby, something that we just could not have survived without is our Snuggle Me organic 
baby pillow. This is super similar to a Docatot, but I chose this one because it just seemed like it was a little bit more squishy and kind of like would snuggle them in a little bit more. This is another thing that's just really easy to take around the house with you and have a safe place to put your baby. And we also used this as a co-sleeper to each their own, do your research and decide what is best for you and your family. For us, we felt comfortable with him sleeping in this. We had it in between us in the bed. It keeps your baby from rolling around and it just holds them really tight and makes them feel like they're being held, which worked so well for our baby. He loved that thing and when he didn't fit in it anymore, it was such a bummer to have to transition him out of it. I wish he could have slept in it forever because he just loved it. Something else that I highly recommend but I feel like it's forgotten a lot is a car seat mirror. There is just no way I could feel comfortable in the car if I can't see my baby. I need to be able to look back at him and make sure that he is okay. So I highly recommend a car seat mirror. We just have a really super simple one from Amazon. Honestly, it doesn't need to be fancy. You just need to be able to look back and see your baby. The next thing I wanna talk about is a baby tracking app. And the one that is best in my opinion is the Huckleberry app. It makes it super, super easy for you to track everything that you need to track. Sleeping, feeding, diapers, pumping, medicine. You can track their growth and see what percentiles they're in. Another awesome thing about Huckleberry is that you track your baby's sleep and it analyzes the sleep data and then recommends to you the best time for you to put your baby down for a nap and the best time for you to put your baby down to sleep at night. When your baby is a newborn, their wake windows change so much so fast and so to know exactly what is a good wake window for your baby makes it so much easier for them to get the rest that they need and it will remind you so you can set it to remind you either 5 10 15 minutes before your baby needs a nap it'll send you a notification to your phone and that way you can make sure to get your baby down at a really good time so that they don't get overtired and cranky and that also they're tired enough to take a nap and tired enough to go to sleep it also is super easy for you to track their feeding if you're breastfeeding it will let you time how much you're feeding on each side. It's also really easy to track bottles if you're doing formula or pumping and then they have solids too for when your baby gets older. I think that tracking is really, really helpful. If your baby is cranky and you don't know why, it's so easy to be able to refer to this, to say, oh, it's been three hours since baby ate, he must be hungry, or oh my gosh, it's almost nap time, or we missed it. Maybe I'm just obsessive and I love tracking things, but I think that it's so helpful. And this app is far superior to all of the other tracking apps that I tried out when he was a newborn. So skip baby tracker, skip all of those and just get Huckleberry. It's a free app. It's super, super good. The last thing that I want to talk about is the taking care of babies sleep courses. We actually bought all three of the ones that she offers and used all of them and found them all super, super helpful. She has a newborn sleep class for months three and four when they're kind of going through their sleep regression. And she also has one for months five plus. I recommend them all, but obviously this is my newborn must have. So I really recommend that any moms to be or first time moms, please take the newborn sleep class. It is so immensely helpful. I learned so much about baby sleep from that class. For the newborn class, it is not sleep training by any means. If anything, it's just all about kind of teaching you as the parent what to do and how to help your baby sleep better. We took the class I think somewhere around nine to ten weeks and he went from sleeping tiny little one to two hour stretches to sleeping four, five, six hour stretches. And it was just a night and day difference. It was so helpful, especially just for me. I feel like that class trained me. It just made me understand a lot more about baby sleep and what they need. It's seriously so worth the money. Okay, so that is everything that I had on my list for newborn recommendations. Let me know in the comments what are your absolute newborn must-haves, if they're different from mine, or what ones of these you agree with. That way other moms can go through and read the comments and see other recommendations that you have. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Just tell us.